you so that we have a fair interaction. I can see your expression, your uh, enthusiasm or your, in, in fact, if you are getting bored also, then I can figure out from your expressions only, okay? That's what I am in the need of uh, in the session. Saf again switched off the video. <laughs> okay. Uh, as we were discussing about the game development, so, so Saf, would you like to give your inputs? Uh, what is your idea about uh, uh, the game development? What exactly a game development is? No, it's like, um, like if there's a game and then it's like, uh, it's two flops so that uh, people like they give review and then the owner try to like, he reads the review and he tries to work on it. Mm -hmm, ma'am, uh, you it's are a just... batch market study, ma'am. Exactly, that is the market study of your product which you have created. I'm asking about how to create the game. What is the procedure? What is the uh, what does we consider in the development of a game? <clears throat> you all must play games on the gadgets on the on the systems. Okay, yeah. tell me the favorite games of each of yours, one by one, starting from Shuchi, mm -hmm. then Navidha, then Nikhil, then Seth. Okay, Shuchi. Um, I usually don't play games. I only play once a week. So I play Subji Surfers. Okay, you are not allowed to, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ma'am, cool. I play games, but ma'am, not much. I don't like that much. So ma'am, ma I play games with my friends like Roblox. And okay. where say, uh, I have a favorite game that is Subji Surfer. Fine. Okay. Nikhil? I don't play much. Wow. We have so sensitive kids here who don't play games. Okay, Seth, you only left. Which game do you play? Seth, are you there? Again, the issue. Mom, I think it's an internet connection. No, I, I, I don't know whether it is an internet connection or some glitch with the system also, maybe. The microphone yes ma'am sometimes in zoom there are problems can you hear okay. me yes sir now you are audible yes ma'am so i'm i was asking about your favorite game yeah yeah ma'am shall i say yes I... we are waiting for I, you I, I, I mostly i like fortnite okay you are a regular player or you you are also allowed to play just once a week like no, I uh, before I used to play like six hours a day because oh. I go for I used to like I'll be going for like tournaments. Okay. With my okay. So like I just practice so many skills. Okay. So what actually is a video game? Let us discuss that. Okay. Then we come to the point of developing a game. So games. The electronic games. First of all, video games are the electronic games. These, these are not the physical games and they are played on a computer device, on mobile gadgets, on iPads, or maybe with the gaming consoles, right? And what are the gaming consoles? I guess Seth must be knowing it. Yeah, man, I have like a P, a PS4, PS4 and right. Xbox. So Nintendo. you must have heard of these uh, terms, PS4 and Xbox. So basically yes, when you have an extra remote control a uh, controlling like feature. a jukebox jukebox uh, i don't know about the jukebox i don't know but uh, i'm not a, or a joystick player. or joystick yes, the I joystick think. that is the appropriate not the jukebox word. right that was wrong <laughs> okay now what is game development it is the process of creating video games and it includes four stages uh game development has four processes in it First is designing, then developing, then testing, and then launching, okay? And we will be considering each of these terms, each of these processes one by one in depth. Let's start with designing. Suppose you want to make a game. The first very thing you want to do or you are in the need to do is think about the idea, right? The idea is important. You want to make a simulation-based game. You want to make a fighting game, the first person shooter. You want to make a, like a, what's it, the role playing games, like we have uh, that Barbie games or uh, that for the girls, we have the cooking games, right? <laughs> so first of all, you have to think about how your game should be, uh, should look like when you are presenting in the public, right? 
second is the development stage so designing is all about arts and idea got it now the developing stage development stage is the main stage where you are putting your ideas converting your ideas into reality in the virtual reality i must say so basically whatever you thought of that uh, my game will be like this will be uh, will have the characters like this will have uh, uh, the background like this so you will be putting all this in the development stage right so designing is thinking first of all and for the designing part to put the ideas into reality in the development stage we need coding coding and coding right so whole thing lies on the code then the testing stage i guess you must have got the answer from the testing only uh, who is going to tell me what is testing trying it out sorry trying it trying it trying it okay so testing is basically running your game on uh, on any of the platforms where you want to launch your game right if you have developed your game for the windows that is systems pcs right so you will be testing it on the system if if there is any glitch or if there is a, a problem with the game there is a lag in the game or sometimes on regular playing a game they, uh, the game slows down right so this whole thing will come and, under the and also i'm seeing if there are any bugs or glitches in the game every time we code out, we get the bugs and what are the bugs are the viruses uh, viruses okay i'm asking about the bugs or the viruses or the mosquitoes even in the code <laughs> <laughs> i'm asking you that what actually a bug is is it a uh, uh, maybe some coding problem or maybe you haven't coded properly or some glitch with the instructions you have given which is uh, misinterpreted by the computer ma'am i think so a glitch uh, glitch ma'am that ma'am the computer is misinterpreted okay guess ma'am you have taken my both options combined uh, them accumulated them and answered <laughs> it <laughs> sir better you be knowing what is a glitch or what is basically why we call it a bug glitch is like one error error and what is a bug in a game uh, i don't know think about it yeah. it's basically nothing uh, yeah glitch only and it is a flow when when you are uh, providing a set of instruction for to the computer to do some task Uh, see, I I don't know even I have mentioned in the previous sessions or not, or somebody or from us have mentioned in the previous sessions that when we are supposed to code something, we have to be very precise with the coding. Reason being, computer is a machine and it has no interpretational skills. So, like if I just ask uh, one of you that can anybody of you answer, you just uh, raise your hand because I have asked you collectively, right? So, uh, and if no nobody is answering, one of you. and most likely navida is going to unmute her herself every time and give away the answer right so that is the interpretation skills we human beings have but computer doesn't know if i have said anybody of you how the computer will know that he has to wait for somebody right wait navida <laughs> so basically you have to write in the code that if first person is not answering then there is an option for the second person if second person is not answering then there is an option for the third person if third person is not answering then there is an option for fourth person if anybody is not answering then it's the instructor only who is going to answer right so for just a question you have to put down so many lengthy instructions the code right if some things get missed there so the computer will not work according to the desired results right so that is the main flow and that is known as the bug in the code got it now navita you were about to say something on the same thing okay so uh, what what we uh, do from the next time onwards navita is going to take the session <laughs> no ma'am <laughs> it's okay in fact in the um, uh, next week session i will be doing what uh, bandan slide will provide to each of you to explain that slides and that will be a learning for you as well right get ready for it okay suchi nikhil nikhil uh, you are uh, have logged in from the different device and you are using your monitor for that i don't know you are not paying attention straight 
Harry, click both. You are. Okay, you have connected monitor from the different side, and the camera is on that side, right? Okay. Okay, so I have understood up till now. Yes, ma'am. Great. Now the final pass is launching. Launching is basically deploying your game on the App Store, the Play Store, Google, right? So that is the launching part. So game development is all about these four processes. Got it? Okay. And you know, game development is not a part, um, not a task for a single person. Do you think a single person can develop all, all com a complete game like Fortnite? Man, teamwork is yes. There is a huge team working for the game development. Like the Fortnite, if I'm a gaming, uh, taking an example, the Fortnite one or maybe the role playing, the simulation based games we have heard of, the PUBG, PUBG and etc. There is yeah, a, uh, like the team up with Epic Games. Those are. The team up? Like team up with game launchers and then they launch the game. Yes. So it's like if you have to introduce the characters, how uh, how the characters will look like uh, and as per levels go up, what changes you will be bringing in the levels. So there is a whole team of more than 50 person sometimes to develop a single game. Right. It's not a single person task. So you can't be a game developer just uh, just in one go, you have to le learn each and every stage, designing, developing, testing, and finally the launching part. Okay. Now there are categories of game. The five uh, categories are PC gaming, console gaming, mobile gaming, online gaming, and last one is eSports. Okay. Except Navida, <laughs> because she has watched the videos. Obviously, she will be knowing what is eSports, but I want uh, from Shuchi, Nikhil, or Sev, you know what is PC gaming, right? Yeah. Okay. Console yes, gaming we know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mobile gaming we also know. What is yeah. the difference between these three and the online gaming? Um, PC gaming no, usually no. happens on uh like laptops and computers, while mobile gaming is usually on the Android phones and the mobiles. And what about the online gaming? Ma'am, online gaming is like, um, if you're playing like Battle Royale, then you can team up with your friends and then you can speak, you can party up. Exactly. When you, uh, basically online games need an internet connection, while, uh, while the other three uh, is, there is no necessary uh, requirement of an internet connection. Ma'am, I think upon... in mobile gaming also, we don't need Wi-Fi. Exactly. That's why I'm saying that. Uh, it's not necessary that we need an internet connection for the yeah. first three gamings. It can be, it cannot be, but for the online gaming, it is the prelim thing to be required for the online gaming. And from all through online gaming, you can actually pay, play live, right? You will be having your live scores. Now comes the part last category that is esports. Ma'am, like esports is like tournaments. Competitive. Yes, yes. Yeah. The professional gamers play that game. Perfect answer because that is a part of online gaming only. Where you play game and you earn money, right? So if you're going to play those games, you if you're going to win, and then you will be get, getting money. And you know who is the richest person through each esports who have uh, earned the maximum money out of the esports? Navida, you have Ninja. watched the video. Oh, I forgot. Nikhil, His you were name. saying something. Ninja. Who? Yes, ma'am. Ninja, ma'am. His short name is Ma Ninja. Booga? No. Okay, he is from Danish origin. Ma'am, is it Booga or Ninja? Uh, Sunstein. Have you heard of that? No. John Sunstein. He is the person from Danish origin who has earned the maximum money from esports gaming. He is very young. Right? May, might be uh, now a new person has come in the list, but I don't, uh, the latest uh, I have checked it out, he was uh, John, uh, John Sunstein. He's from, he's from the Danish region, okay? Right? Ma'am, like so, Booga, he, he was like in tournaments of Fortnite and then he won like 3 million. Might be, but I'm asking about the maximum. Might be uh, Sunstein has earned more than 3 million. Okay. You have Google, you can search it on because I don't have much idea about the gaming, but still that was the latest uh, check I did on the Google. Okay, Seth? Fine. Yes, now, genres. 
that's what I'm uh, uh, talking about for the for so long. The action games, adventure games. So these are basically the types of games we want to develop, right? Okay, uh, going to the action games based on fighting. I guess boys like the most, right? Okay, adventure games. What are the adventure games? Ma'am, Ma like there will be story. Ma'am, like there is mystery, some kind of riddle. Then yeah, we have to find out some hidden things like puzzles, right? That is the adventure. Yes. Have you uh, tried? Can you escape? No, ma'am. That is totally a riddle where you have to uh, open a door. You have to find the clues and connect the dots, and you have. Um, to... That is somewhere in Hyderabad only, right? There is also a place where you have to do this. Uh, yeah. That is a physical place. You have to figure out the door, how to open the door. You have to find the key and key somewhere. So, ma'am, it's like a uh, maze, maze game. No, it's not only a maze. Basically, you have uh, it's like a detective uh, thing, right? You have the clues. You have to connect the dots, basically, between the clues, right? Like suppose you have uh, three LEDs glowing in that picture, red, green, and blue. Then you will get yes, a box where you, there are three colors. how you will be connected you have to check out each and everything in the room so that means red green and blue is the password for that box that is the thing okay now role playing ma'am role playing would be like uh, we would be someone else we would be a character in that game and then playing that game yes ma'am it's like story mode right exactly Role yes. playing, we have a story. Ma Role like playing is like the cooking. Uh, when you have a, a, I guess we have some games like having a restaurant and you are. Ma'am, Ma like like cooking a, fever. Ma'am, cooking fever. There are ample. There are numerous variations in the games. Numerous variety yes, we can have on the app store and the Play Store. I know that. Okay, the simulation based. It is also a part where um, the cookery games like also. Again, the simulation based. Uh, uh, they are also the simulation based game. Racing games. We know that. Fortnite is a racing game or an action game? Ma'am, Fortnite is battle royale action, but racing It's games like action game. Okay, yeah, ma'am, and then racing games that I play is like Need for Speed and all. Right. Great. And a sports game, we know FIFA. Like, like FIFA. That. Yes, ma'am. FIFA. Ma'am, there could be uh two types of uh. Two types of genres in one game, right? Like you could act as a. That person. is a combination of two genres in one game. Yes, like I said, role playing plus simulation games, right? We have yes, two genres. Ma'am, I have a doubt. What's up? Ma'am, is Minecraft like an adventure game or role playing? What mm. happens in Minecraft? Because we don't know about Minecraft that much. Okay, now we are going to a simulation game. One by one. Okay. Okay, Seth. Put up your question and describe what is Minecraft. Ma'am, in the chat. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Ma'am, it's like um, a place like where we build and then we, like we can like cut things and then we can build it. But to install, you need to pay and then um, like there are characters and it's like only like it's just like building. it's like building but there is a part of stem based learning also in the minecraft right yes so okay navida are you able to answer it mama i think so a simulation a simulation game simulation based okay 